<coughs> Pep, just uh, going back to, to the Mara situation, he, he hasn't trained at Leicester, you know, for, for whatever reason he decides, but he has just come back now. But do you accept and responsibility for that situation? Me? No, no, Manchester City as, as, as a club. I don't think so. Because of his reaction to not, not getting the move. I don't think so. Leicester came to pick up uh, a Kalechi. And we did it. So I think in all the transfer clubs, called the clubs, and, and simple like that. So after that, we are not involved in absolutely anything. It's a decision for the player, for the club, and not for Manchester City. And, and then, Pep, just, just picking up, you, you made a reference to, to, to Gary Neville. What, what was your thoughts when you saw what he said about you not filling your bench? Um, at Burnham, uh, well, did you make it's, that? It's, it's quite simple. So we had a lot of injuries. We made in that day a training session at four in the afternoon. In the same time, at five or six, the players I could take, they had a game here. And it was just one or two hours later. And I was not correct for my side to call to the manager, prepare the game one or two hours before to say I need one or two players to go in the bench when I thought maybe Nas is going to play. And for that reason, I didn't call him, fully the resign. He has to know, this guy, the pundit, he has to know my job is serious. It's not a joke. Never is a joke. My job is so serious. Pep, um, Sean Dyche said last week that... And sh and he should know that. That he was a manager for a short time. Tell me. Uh, Sean Dyche said last week that watching Edison was like watching Ronald Koeman. Who said that? Yeah. Uh, Who said that? Uh, uh, Sean Dyche, after the game against ah, okay. he said he's the calmest keeper he's ever seen. Mm. Uh, personally, how satisfying has it been for you, Edison's form, his performances this season? Because that has been a particularly contentious position since you came in. It was a difficult decision to drop Joe Hart, then a difficult decision to replace his replacement in Bravo. Mm. So uh, how particularly pleasing is that for you to see just what a success he's been? Uh, a lot, so I think we had uh, a, a two extraordinary goalkeepers because we were in the final of the Carabao Cup thanks to Claudio. Against Wolves here, he saved one three once against one, and Wolves in that period deserved to go through. And in two rounds, he saved the penalties. So we have a two excellent goalkeepers, but both control perfectly, control perfectly the game with the uh, with the feet. The most important is safe with the hands, of course. But we are. Impressed in the fact he's young, he's 22 or 23 years old, came from Portugal to here, you never know what's going to happen. But immediately he <laughs> adapted well, we knew that the quality of the quality of the pass, but not just the quality of the pass, it's read where you can pass the ball here and here and here or there. You can do that, but you have to know if in that action you have to play here or here or here. That is the most difficult thing. And he read it. And he did well and do it in Barley where they, they are so <coughs> intense with Vogue, with the Barnes, were aggressive two and two, like the whole midfield, the jam to Fernandinho. And they are a team like they had a lot of good, good qualities, a lot of good values like Barley and did what he he has done is so, so important for us. Uh, uh, we are so happy. So both goalkeepers, but of course in the Premier League is playing uh, an Ederson and it's, it's not just how long he he, you know, in the goal kick, put the ball in the terms of the patient and the quality of, of he plays. And still he can improve. We have obviously some really good goalkeepers in this country, the head, <coughs> Courtois in particular. Where, where does Edison rank, would you say, alongside them and, and the best goalkeepers in Europe, Neuer, uh, Ter Stegen? He's one of the, the tops. With that age, I think if he has desire to improve, he will become, for the next, the exam coming, you know, uh, a lot of, uh, you know, will be a, a extraordinary goalkeeper. So it's, uh, because I think it's the most important thing from my point of view, is so calm. When he can see the goal, he's quiet. And when he make an extraordinary save, he's quiet. His reaction is the same, he's stable. But he's still young, still has to improve a lot of things. And, and, and uh, he's already, for me, one of the best in the world and it will be in the future it will be strong. No, because sometimes when you play like this you make mistakes. But the advantage in the average you create more things of that that you can see. And of course you can make a mistake. 
uh, he can. I said many times, you can do. Of course, you have to minimize the risk. Sometimes you cannot play. He cannot confuse all the time. You have to play. No, no. Sometimes you can, you have to put the ball in the channel on the tribune. He has to discriminate where. But if it's possible to play, you have to play. We we have to do that. Pep, if you was spoke to Kevin after the game last week, and he said he was tired, that he was ready for a rest. Um, he's run 288 um, kilometers this year. <laughs> how impressive is that? And how can he keep that up? I don't have words. I don't know words to express. The gratitude, first of all, the manager, and, and, and sometimes I am here to, my, to my example is words, but the player's example is the facts. And one of the best players we have, no doubts about that, is the guy who runs the most and uh, he fight the most. is an ex incredible example for, for the rest of the players, for the academy, for the, uh, for the guys. He's one of the most talented players I've ever seen in my life, and, and without the ball, he's a guy who uh, who make this kind of uh, and the intensity that uh, we have and every three days and every three days and every three days. So um, that's why when I said before, if we needed the rest, yeah, we need it. Uh, so the end is the place. It's not the, the fact just the, to be tired here. It's to be tired here. You know, it's every three days for day. That's why the Premier League is so exhausting, so demanding in terms of the, the lack of the recovery, the lack of rest. You gave them three days off after the Burnley game. Will you do that more often if you can do? Yeah, the definitely. Season? Yeah. I'm not a manager who believes in that level you train more, you you are better. No, it's to find the quality, not the quantity. And of course, when we are able to take you off, always. It is important for them to be with their families and do other things, not just football. Hi, Pat. You said that you hope that Mahrez plays tomorrow. Given how good he is, would it not suit you better that he doesn't play? No, I love to play with the best sides, with the best players. When I played the Champions League, with a, you were able to go through and play with the top teams. I won all by feet. I think it's, it's good to face with the reality of the teams. So but like this, when you beat them, you feel better. You know, uh, I prefer to play with the best United players, with the Chelsea, Tottenham, already fit, and I would like to to play with. Uh, that's why I wish as soon as possible if he can come back and play because he's an extraordinary player, and of course I I enjoy and everybody likes to to watch the the, the good players, so the better players. Do, do you, um, given your high standards of professionalism, Pep? Do you do you think it's disappointing though the way Mares has reacted to not getting a move to City? I'm not there. I'm not there, so if sometimes one player happened that, I will speak with him, but I'm not there, so I, I, I don't want to... They one comment will be... Because I don't know the reality, I don't know the opinion for the player for the club, so I, I'm not... And just on De Bruyne, um, he's obviously been magnificent for you, but is there any concern that at this key juncture of the season now, at this key moment in the season, March, April, May coming, that that burnout is a is a is an issue is a potential issue for him or no. that he's that the 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 efforts he's put in so far could, could take Well in, in in that period I could not give him rest because uh, because David is uh, had some personal problems no problems he's going well but with his son and, and now the last three games is injured Fabian Delft can play in that position is injured Phil Foden is injured, so that's why I could not move a lot, uh, um, and that's why, and that's why he had to wait. But immediately they can come and when can give me some minute rest. On, for example, against uh, I think it was West Brom, the last 15 minutes, you know, he came out and get another one. So because he 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 play a lot of minutes and he deserves some rest. But and the other side is so important player for us because every game create an amount of chances in offensive and help us defensively. And and of course as well uh, the fact that we are there, you know, we are fighting for, for, for important things. In that situation you are not tired, you know, you are uh, because he said I'm tired, but uh, if it would have been another game three days, he would have been ready to play. You know that?
To have 22 in the squad. There, there would be, sorry, it's a catch-22 situation catch. whereby yeah, if, if you... Um, oh, not even, not even he understand you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you're in a position and you probably like to give him more rest, but it's too important to give yeah. him extra rest. So yeah. is that with the strength yeah. players, is that the... It's difficult. But if David is there, if you, Gundogan, I miss him a lot last season. So the performance of Gundogan against Barley, pwah, it was top. He just missed the last action, the last pass. The ball arrived here instead here, and the last pass to here to be there uh, for, for nothing. For nothing, we didn't score the second and the third and the fourth goal there in that game. Uh, but uh, Phil, for example, of course, young enough. It's still he needs to, to, to grow up, but he's ready to play for us as well. So we're going to handle. So that's why I'm thinking about what your Catalan colleague said to you, how you handle the next four games. Today, how is the team? Tomorrow, after tomorrow recovery, we're going to Basel and we're going to decide in terms of smelling and NASA and we're going to see. It was pointed out to me recently that De Bruyne and Silva have more freedom in your midfield and in your system than any of the midfielders at Bayern Munich or Barcelona. Is, no. is that true? And no. Why? OK. No. So they have to stick to the system just the same as no. Xavi and Iniesta and Thiago? And no, Thomas. for example, Kevin attacked the space different way than Xavi and Andres, for example. And, and Xavi and Andres are more positional, they keep the ball amazingly. So but that's just their characteristics. Uh, that, yeah, them. that's the point. When you talk about the tactics, you have to speak about the players. 4 2 3 1, 4 3 3, 5 in the back, that is not tactics, that is numbers. Tactic is Okay, the five in the back, which player play in that position, which quality he has. Now we're going to start about the tactics. And and Kevin is, is like this, but what I want is the players involved a lot with the ball. That is what I want. When they don't have the ball, run, guy, run. And with the ball, of course, we have the parameters. We have a, a something, you know, to, to, to know what in which position we are. But after that, I love when they feel I have to go there. <laughs> I will not say, no, no, don't go there. If you feel you have to go there, go there, guys, because you play and you are... The leading roles. Mike, last question. <coughs> Pat, would you go into a game again in the future with only six players on the bench? N I think it was the first time in my life, but I said it was all the players are injured, believe me. So Jonathan was not fit, David was not fit. Of course, they're going to the 18. But David trained with us that day. Mm -hmm. That day, at four in the afternoon, okay. In that day, tra David training session. That's why he didn't call another previous game. But during the training session, he said, I'm not ready. And after that, I said, go to the second team. I said, oh, the second team, in one hour and a half, they're going to play a game. So I felt hey, I'm not going to call you know, the plane to go to the bench. Or no, when normally the substitute is Brahim, or maybe Yaya, or maybe another one is, is here. That was the reason why I didn't, I didn't call. Maybe was it the first? Was it a goal? <laughs> oh, no. Um, that, 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 that's why. That was, the, that was the only reason why. But normally, of course, you go in 18 plays. It was the first time in my life, but it was an exception. If the training session would have been in the 10 in the morning, 11 in the morning, so it was 18 players. But it's not, you know, it's not a big issue. But, uh, but it's okay. But in the circumstances, in the same circumstances again, you would, you would do it again? So I don't know. Mm. Manager is not a book. Like every time you have to do the same things. Sometimes the fullbacks go inside, sometimes go outside. So it's not a book. Sometimes they speak the, 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 the team in one way, the other day in another way. All the managers do the same. It's not a book. You have to follow the rules. So sometimes they say, OK, I take that decision. And of course, the prestigious pundits can say whatever he wants. But uh, I take the decisions. Did the criticism That's... hurt you? Sorry? Did the criticism hurt you that you got from that? A lot. You cannot imagine. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. Especially when we lose, you know, when we draw, especially. Because we won, the decision was magnificent. Sorry. He had a, a tough kick against uh, uh, West Brom. And he is a painful, it's not, it's not a big issue, you know, it's not a big, big problem. But it's painful. It's a, a kick where you need, you need time. His training session today, train again, but he doesn't feel. And of course, I prefer to be. Uh, recovery knowing that David is, <laughs> is so important for us. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you.